I'm here in a cemetery as we continue our series, Asking for a Friend. The question today is, what happens to us between the time we die and the time Jesus comes back? And a related question, is cremation acceptable for a Christian? Really good questions. And let's make an assumption as we try to answer that question. The assumption I'm working off of is that we are believers, that we uh, have hope that we will spend eternity with Jesus forever in heaven. And so on that assumption, the Bible talks about two different bodies. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, Paul says that we have this uh, earthly body, uh, or he uses the word tent, that here on this earth we are given this body, and this body is temporary. It uh, decays. It breaks. And I don't know about you, but I am growing to learn that each and every day. Uh, and that eventually this body will give out, it will give way, and I will meet death on this earth. But Paul says we also have this heavenly body, this heavenly dwelling or this heavenly tent. And that tent we receive uh, at some point. And when we receive the heavenly tent, it's perfect. It will not decay. It will never break and it will live forever. Now, uh, my study of the scripture says that we will receive that tent when Jesus comes back. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, again, Paul tells us that when Jesus comes back, the dead in Christ will rise first, and, and they will rise up to heaven. And those that are still on this earth that are still alive will meet them in heaven, and, and we will receive our heavenly tent. And the question is, what happens to us between the time our earthly tent gives way and the time we receive our heavenly tent? Good question. And again, my study of the scriptures would lead me to believe that the minute our earthly tent gives way, the minute we take our last breath here on this earth, we meet Jesus in heaven. And we are immediately ushered into his presence. There are several places in scripture that lead me to believe this. Paul says in several different places that while he is here on earth in his earthly tent, it would be much better for him to be in the presence of God. Jesus, when he was hanging on the cross, was hung between two thieves. And one of those thieves confessed Jesus that day as Savior and Lord and said, I know that you are who you say you are. And Jesus said to him, today you will be with me in paradise. He didn't say tomorrow or next year or when I come again. He said, today you will be with me in paradise. And so I believe when our earthly body gives way, we are ushered, our spirit is ushered immediately into the presence of God in heaven. Such a comforting and a hopeful thought. And then there will be that day when Jesus returns that we will receive our heavenly body. We don't know what that looks like. Uh, scripture does not give us an indication of what that will look like. But we know that we will receive this heavenly tent or this heavenly body. And that leads a lot of people to the question, is cremation acceptable then? As a Christian, can I be cremated? And this is one of those places that the scripture does not speak to directly. It does not give us a direct answer. We know that there was a tradition in the Old Testament that when people passed away, they were buried or, or placed in a tomb. Uh, we know this from Abraham and Moses and, and others. Uh, even in the New Testament, Jesus' body was placed in the tomb. But we also know that there's an instance in the Old Testament with Saul and his sons where they were cremated. And, and again, the Bible doesn't speak clearly to it. But what we do know is that the Bible says we were created from dust and we will return to dust. And so in my mind, or in my opinion, it doesn't matter whether that dust means we've been cremated or that dust means that our body has been placed in a casket and put into the ground. And so at some point when Jesus comes back, we will have these resurrection bodies and we will be raised from the dead. We will receive our heavenly bother, whether we are in the earth or whether we've been cremated. So my opinion on that is that it is our preference. 
to whether we want to be buried in the ground or cremated. Uh, my wife Amy and I talk about this from time to time and our wishes and our choices. And I tell her that I want to be cremated and I want her to spread my ashes. And I believe that God is okay with that because I believe he uh, is going to give me a heavenly body when he comes back. And then the minute I take my last breath on this earth, I'm going to be ushered into his presence in heaven. And Amy's okay with that. But at the same time, she's like, but I don't know. I want a place uh, where I can go knowing that you're not there, but a place where I can go and sit and, and, and reflect and, and meditate and remember or, or whatever that may be. And so I would say it's completely a human preference. Again, those are my thoughts. The scripture doesn't speak directly to it in a lot of places. There is a lot of things the scripture doesn't speak directly to. And as we continue in this Asking for a Friend series, what we're encouraging you to do is to wrestle with these questions yourself. Do the research. It's easy. Get on Google. Type the question in. And don't just take someone's answer for it, but read it and interpret it to yourself. Most importantly, find places where scripture is referenced and go to that scripture and, and study it and, and read it and meditate on it and pray about it, and you form for yourself your belief about these questions. Until next time, asking for a friend.